Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. There's something here professionally going on. I don't know if this has to do with some type of, um, what is it? Like your productivity or like some kind of performance evaluation or something like that. You have the King of Wands here, the Renewal, the Sun, wow, and the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, the Eight of Swords, the Star, the Emperor, wow. Ego, the Magician. So this is like a whole situation here. You don't have anything to worry about. Some of you have been stressed, worried, in some kind of fear, anxiety about a situation here. This could be related to um, your a relationship that you have or um, a couple. The King of Wands is here with the Judgment card and then the Sun. Here's the Queen of Wands with the King of Wands. It's a pair out here. And between the two of you is the Judgment and the Sun. So for some of you, you and another person are going through some type of spiritual awakening or transformation where you're recognizing, you're, you're, I feel like you and someone could be recognizing like the, the chemistry, the passion that you have. There could be some kind of mutual attraction here. The sun, yeah. This is something successful. It brings happiness, joy, peace, contentment. The high priestess is here. Somebody really, really um, is interested in you because they find you very wise, perhaps. Eight of Swords here. Yeah. So it could be, um, for some of it could be this masculine energy that's been trapped. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person has been doubting them themselves, confused, worried, having sleepless nights. But here's a star, the King of Wands. This person is destined for greatness. They're des they have a lot of faith in being able to have wish fulfillment. Yeah, the Emperor is here. There's been some kind of illusion over a masculine energy. This person is definitely going through an awakening right now. You have the ego card here with the sun, and here's the magician and the king of swords. This person has finally been able, has been able to successfully break free out of some type of um, hex, curse, or, or situation. This high priestess could be a divine feminine, and this queen of wands could be somebody that was determined to connect with this masculine. I'm, I, this person, I'll, I'll be complete. I'm so tired of this person coming out. This Queen of Wands, the last reading I did, um, I was challenging somebody who has like pretty much like destroyed their entire life, trying to manifest a masculine back into their life. When I say this person, the, the person that I was channeling or this collective of energies, um, I'm saying like somebody here has ruined finances, career, friendships, relationships, change their body, change what they did for a career, work, everything, trying to get someone back into their life, that this energy is still here. Queen of Wands and the Magician, the King of Swords, yeah. See, somebody has gone through a spiritual awakening where they want to have equal give and take in a connection. It's the Two of Cups. And they're putting up their wand, the seven of wands, this person right now, they're they're determined to fight against any type of conflict. Any type, any person that's trying to compete with the divine feminine, they're not having it. Because this person has gone through an awakening. And a great deal of the the reason why they've gone through this awakening is because they've had some type of assistance from this high priestess. So I don't know, for some, this may not even be a romantic situation. This could be a masculine who has just like gone to a very wise person, a high priestess, or a, a maybe a tarot reading. They could have watched a tarot reading, or they know someone that um, embodies that high priestess energy. But someone here has received some type of wisdom 
some type of clarity about a situation that they've been very stressed out or worried about. And this person now feels ex extremely like inspired to go and create something, to manifest something in their life, to go towards their destiny, their wish fulfillment. This person is awakening now to the fact that they are indeed a divine masculine or they're well on their way to being that. With the sun here in the ego card, which will be the devil card though, this person, when it comes to their, their joy, their peace, their happiness, their overall contentment, them being in this emperor -like energy, you have here the devil card here next to the queen of wands and then the magician. This person, a lot of their growth has been stunted because of a connection, a soul tie, an attachment that they have to this queen of wands with a magician card. This is someone here who has been manipulating this person, the energies, this situation, maybe even using magic. But the King of Swords is here now. This person, all of this mental energy, the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, they now are taking this their own sword and they're cutting through all of the illusions. Because this person, they can see. So this person has been very confused about it, um, having equal give and take in a relationship because of this third party. Whatever this third party was doing to make this person confused so that they did not want to make an offer or they weren't really open to accepting an offer or whatever the case is, that's ending. Yeah, somebody from the past has been holding on to this person. But the, the choice has been made now. The lovers and the ace of swords. This person is now making a choice. You have here the lovers and the two of cups. And then the seven of wands with the ace of swords. Yeah, this person is not playing around. This person is not want justice. Wow. And, it's, and somebody here knows the truth too. Someone has become aware of the fact that a person has done something to sabotage them or even this divine feminine that they're connecting with. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords. This person, this masculine, has some type of good news that's coming in. They're working on something right now. The Page of Swords. This person, they are currently analyzing certain things. They're researching. They're developing. They're looking for information. They're looking for ways to start something new so that they can come out of this Ten of Swords energy. This person is also realizing, too, who has been watching and monitoring them, possibly sabotaging their life, causing them to have all uh, these premature endings because you have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. This is someone before anything can get started, it crashes and burns. But now someone is finally free from this because they've gone within. This person could have gone within too about something dealing with their family. It could even be a family member that's been blocking this person. They're seeing something for what it is now. This person also is discovering that they really, really want to take action towards like wish fulfillment, towards the Ten of Cups. Somebody is, honestly, this person, they're falling in love or they are in love. The other night, Knight of Swords. They're becoming very motivated, very determined to make a decision. A decision that's going to put them in the Ten of Cups. This person is, is thinking about like settling down. Knight of Wands, yes. Knight of Wands, Knight of um, Cups is here too. And here's the Three of Swords. Queen of Cups, Three of Wands. This is healing. This person is, a sh is about to show up in every way. I'm getting with the, the um, Knight of Swords, this mind, Knight of Wands, body, because they're taking action. Knight of Cups, spirit, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, they're, they're tapping in in all areas. And then you have the Three of Swords. This, part, this person, literally, and you could, if this resonates to you, you could be seeing 333, but all three nights here, and then you have the Three of Swords. This person has gone through deep healing, mind, body, spirit. They, they've healed. There's an alignment. There's a shift that has happened. This person has healed their mind, their body, and their spirit, and now they're ready to take action. Queen of Cups. Yep, and here's the Three of Wands. Page of Cups, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Very straight to the point. Wow, when I just cut the deck, it cut on the Four of Wands. I told you this. Wow, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands and the Hierophant. 
this person has decided, someone has decided that they're, they're marrying somebody. Yep, the chariot and the ace of cups. Somebody has decided that they're marrying somebody. They want um, three of pentacles. They want a partnership, eight of pentacles, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to work on it. They are willing to work very hard on this situation. This person is like focused, very focused. They're focused right now on making plans, two of, of wands, making plans to partner with, with a divine feminine or masculine. Some of you, this is the person coming towards you. Wow, every time I cut the deck, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This person is making plans. Two of Swords. This person was at a crossroads, though, possibly because you're in the Nine of Pentacles. This person may have been afraid that you will walk away. Eight of Cups. Because this person, for a long time, they've been stuck. They've been disappointed. They've still been focusing on something from their past, perhaps, with the Seven of Cups here. This person has something that happened for sure with this Queen of Wands in the past. There was some kind of unfinished business here. They're finally, like I said, they're, they're healing. Mind, body, spirit, they're over it. If this person had any kind of fears, any type of regrets or whatever, they're balancing everything out. Temperance, six of wands, six of swords, I'm sorry. They now have hope. This person has freed themselves of whatever type of disappointment or regret that they had. They, they're forgiving themselves. They're no longer over analyzing. This person also could have, because of a past situation, they could still be, you know, wondering, well, is there something else out there for me? Is there something better? They've made a decision. Yeah. They're very, very passionate right now about releasing something in their life. For them to have this passion in the beginning, there's a union or a celebration here. Somebody has possibly been detached, though, with the Five of Swords here, Ten of Wands, because they've actually been doing the healing work. Someone has been trying to assess and evaluate why they're so stressed, why they're so imbalanced and over. It could even be this Queen of Wands and this person's energy. You have here the moon. Yeah, see, somebody has been working in the background to try to have some kind of ending or transformation or to make a person suddenly think about them or have a, a, a realization or epiphany that they are the one and they're not. They're just not. So, this was so to the point. I really don't feel the need to drag this out at all. Um, I'm going to pull a few oracles, but... Somebody out here, there's a masculine that has healed mind, body, spirit. They are completely aligned with their divine masculine energy, and they are very soon about to take action towards that divine feminine. Just period. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, when I tell you it's so... And this person, I don't know if this person is like an air sign or what, but they are extremely direct. I mean, very direct. This person is not playing any games. They could definitely have error in their chart. Specific look. Ace of Pentacles in the moon. You may be a little bit confused or feel like something is hidden. This, this King of Wands keeps showing up. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could have cancer in their chart or they could have been dealing with a cancer in the past. Or you could be a cancer. The moon. This person's going through a uh, uh, spiritual awakening where they now are listening more to their intuition. This person is doing some very deep shadow work and healing. They're digging deep, healing their inner child. They're seeing the truth about illusions, their own, you know, patterns of behavior. This is like some very rapid growth happening here with it. Wise counsel, wow, that's the higher thing. With the three of cups, I'm telling you, somebody here is thinking about union. They're thinking about a very serious relationship. They're thinking about marriage, commitment. This person is thinking, somebody here is thinking about going to a wedding. Like, this person wants you to be their plus one. This person may ask you soon to go to accompany them to like a wedding. This could be a wedding in the spring.
someone could end up pregnant as well. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Hierophant, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and here is the Star. Oh my goodness. And the Wheel. Somebody out here literally could end up with a child. Like, I'm seeing you and this person, all of a sudden, something is going to shift and change. I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing parties. Three of Cups celebrations. Gender reveals. Like, there's about to be a lot of love here. But baby, when I tell you whoever this Leo is, this person is livid. This Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Feminine, you got the five of wands. This person is competing. Strength card, Leo. Sun card, Leo. Queen of wands, Leo. Ten of wands, the hermit. This person is, is somewhere has been hiding in the background watching and stalking and obsessing over somebody that they feel like left them out in the cold five of pentacles the moon this is really really crazy and we didn't come here to talk but i mean if you were looking for a confirmation baby there it is five of wands this queen of wands is really really competing with this queen of cups person that this hierophant wants to celebrate with this masculine could be a Taurus. They could have fire in their chart. Um, I keep picking up for this masculine energy that I've been seeing in the readings lately. Like Taurus, um, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius. This toxic karmic feminine though, this is for sure. This is a, I don't want to say Leo, but the cards all indicate Leo. We are in the year of the number eight, but I mean the strength card, the sun and the queen of wands, those are all cards suggesting that this is a Leo specifically. Five of wands. This person, like the way they've been competing with someone and trying to cause conflict to others has literally led to them being just completely overworked, overburdened. This person is suffering. And then you have the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Moon. This person has been very sneaky. This person could do moon magic. They've been sending some type of thoughts or, or casting some kind of spells or illusions. So this person has a lot of negative thoughts that have been manifesting in their life. And they're also trying to make sure that these negative thoughts will manifest in the life of this masculine and whoever they are connecting with as well. This person definitely did some kind of spell work. And there, this could be a, um, this person could be a cancer on the cusp of Leo. Because I'm getting a lot of cancer energy. The moon and the chariot. Or whatever this person is doing under the with, with the moon cycles to try to move forward is not working. Yeah, justice. It's not working. The page of wands. Something new and exciting is still coming in. Yeah. Look at that. Eight of swords, three of swords. Whoever this feminine is, this person. This person has lost it, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, and this person keeps showing up on these readings. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Wands. Somebody is extremely passionate. They're confident about having victory and success. The Three of Wands. What's coming in is the freaking Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. There's a marriage that's coming in. I mean, it's a very serious commitment here. And somebody is trying to block this because they feel like they invested too much in this person. Somebody feels like they would, would everything that they invested in a person or a connection, they should 100% be the one reaping the benefits of this person. This person is creating a lot of illusions. They are addicted. They, they are very toxic. They feel like they should be the ones reaping the benefits because this king of wands right now is taking a leap of faith and they're having a transformation. And whoever this feminine is right now, they're in the nine of wands. They feel very wounded by the, by the fact that this masculine is moving on. 
this person just feels like if you're going to do well in life after what I did, what we did, what I had to go through with you or what you put me through, whatever, this person feels like they should reap all of the benefits, the rewards and recognition of being with this masculine. So it looks like somebody here has broken up a masculine is now choosing to, and this is just how the cookie, this masculine is awakening now. They were with somebody who was karmic to them and they were karmic to this person. I don't know all of the details of their relationship, but somebody is upset because this masculine has clearly gone into a connection with somebody now that they are choosing, almost, I guess, to, yeah, they're choosing to pursue. And, and they're choosing to pursue this person. And it's an actual, it's actually a very healthy relationship because this person has healed mind, body, spirit. So this person is healing. The Knight of Swords here. This person, they're focused. They're driven. They know what they want. And this change in this person could have come about very suddenly. And, and they're, they're going straight towards the Two of Cups. See, so I, I'm telling you, somebody thought that a masculine was going to come to them. This King of Swords too, this person... They're the Knight of Swords or the King of Swords. When it comes to this new connection, they're going to have it. And they don't care what anybody has to say. This person feels like a lot of their growth, their development, their awakening, they feel like that has everything to do with, with the person that they are connected to. And they're not they're not about to lose whoever this, this new divine feminine is. They're not doing it. This could be somebody going back to a person from the past, but there's a divine masculine here who has chosen a divine feminine. And that's just what it is. Somebody is very upset about this. But see, when you deal with the King of Swords, the King of Swords can easily detach. The King of Swords believes in respect, loyalty, and being fair. And they're fair-minded. This King of Swords is like, well, I, see, somebody feels like, well, I was there with you when certain things happened, so it should be us. This King of Swords is saying no. And it's, I'm not getting Carl saying that this person, that they're a, they're a bad person. Somebody wants to label them bad because they're choosing to move on and be good to somebody that they're connecting with now. They're being good to somebody that they're connecting with now because they decided to become better for themselves. And, and somebody else just so happened to, to come back or show up. That's just how it happens. When a person's on their healing journey, you know, you, you start to attract better as you become better. If it's meant to be with somebody from the past, great. If not, somebody else is going to come in. Somebody is like, no, the, uh, you should only be with me. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. When I tell you, whoever this masculine is, that they're not backing down when it comes to this passion and new beginning. It's, it's, it's just not happening. Page of Cups. This person is in love now. <laughs> They're in love after a lot of, after the five of cups, after a cycle of a lot of disappointment, this person is now falling in love. They're thinking about a relationship. They're passionate about somebody. The world is here. This is a union coming together. Because <laughs> you have here the world, the king of pentacles, the king of cups. Judgment and then the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands and the High Priestess. Yeah, behind the High Priestess is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, the Magician. Maybe it's a High Priestess, Divine Feminine out here. Everybody is throwing energy at this person. There's a Divine Feminine out here that I'm seeing right now. Looking at these cards, you have an X or two. You have exes. The cycle is over with them. They're mad because they can't come back in. The current partners of your exes are upset with you. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like, let me, let me tell you exactly what I'm getting. I'm seeing there's a divine feminine. There's a divine feminine energy out here, whether male or female. Somebody is moving on. Somebody has become um, a romantic love interest to someone who could have gotten out of a situation. I don't know if it was recently 
or they just recently finally healed from that situation. This person is head over heels in love with this divine feminine. Divine feminine is probably open to, you know, this, this connection as well. So whoever the, the person is that's pursuing divine feminine now, they have someone from their past that is upset that this divine feminine is being pursued. Now, to add insults to injury, divine feminine also has masculines from his or her past who are trying to come back in. Those masculines are upset that the cycle has closed and divine feminine is now being pursued and open to this new connection. Not only are they upset, the exes or even the current partners of divine feminine's ex or exes, they're also upset. It's like a whole gang of people are upset that this divine feminine has healed and made it through. Not only divine feminine, because I don't, I don't want to just give credit. This divine masculine has also healed mind, body, spirit. There, there's an alignment that has happened. But I will say, based on what I'm seeing in the cards, there's a masculine who has tapped into their divinity with the with the guidance of this divine feminine. And that's why people are upset because the exes of divine feminine are like, you could have done that for me. Right? The exes of this divine masculine are like, you could have been that, that man or that woman for me. No. <laughs> That's not how this story was written. Somebody is going towards the person that they are 100% supposed to be with. They're going towards their God-ordained partner. You have here awakening. Yeah. Somebody here has gone through a spiritual awakening because they came in contact with this divine feminine high priestess, Ace of Cups. <laughs> this divine feminine high priestess is a very powerful manifester, magician who has helped somebody. This person, this divine feminine has a lot of self-control. With the four of pentacles, this divine feminine is independent. Nine of pentacles, four of pentacles. Divine feminine is not overgiving, not oversharing, not overcompensating. This divine feminine has a lot of respect. This divine feminine is not allowing somebody to a pentacles to juggle them. And this masculine is realizing if I'm going to have this divine feminine, then I have to go to the divine feminine the proper way. Somebody is, is upset. He didn't come to me like that. He didn't do for me what he's doing. This masculine, whoever they are, um, this person is, is somebody king of pentacles here. It could be a king of pentacles. It doesn't have to be. But just looking at this card, the king of pentacles, king of cups. King of pentacles, king of, I feel like this is all this one person. I really do. I feel like this divine masculine is working on being grounded. That they have the Midas touch right now. They want to be supportive. They want to be supported emotionally. Like they want to protect. They want to provide King of Cups. They're working on healing. They want to be trustworthy, dedicated, devoted. They want this divine feminine to, to, to really feel safe with them. This person has healed from something from the past. The renewal card is judgment. This person has looked over a situation from their past. They've forgiven someone. They've forgiven. See, when this person decided to look over their past and forgive whoever they, their past lover was, and they even forgave themselves for whatever they may have done in the past that, you know, was not, not so great, it broke a lot of negative energy off. This person is not attracting anything that's low vibrational or karmic. Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. This person knows the, the truth. They have mental clarity about their past. They have clarity about their past, um, about their even their childhood. This person has a lot of clarity. And with this clarity that they have, look, the lovers, the empress, and the ace of pentacles. Because of this clarity, this person is taking an offer to their divine feminine. The six of pentacles here, this person, knight of cups, they're in love. They want to be generous. Six of swords, they want to move on to peaceful, calm waters. Four of swords. This person has taken time out. This could have come from some kind of separation or a break. I don't know if it was a short separation or break or long, but this person has realized that they want to move on to peaceful, calmer waters where they're following their heart and they want to actually protect, provide, and be generous to the person 
that stood in the gap with them. This person is aware that somebody here helped them to close out a very, very toxic cycle for them. And because this cycle is closing out for this person and they can now have this relief, they see someone for sure as wish fulfillment. And they know that it's not an unwise choice like the, the previous choices that they've made in their life. The, like their their previous decisions in um, romantic partners, they know that this is not, the, they're looking at this as, okay, this is my actual life partner. So things are different. I want different. I want to be different. And that's that. This person is going to protect this relationship with everything that they have. I did a reading about this a few weeks ago. Somebody is seeing a person as an answer prayer. Somebody knows that somebody was sent to them from God. They are not, this person knows it, it, it's, it's like any person. If you're ordained to be a husband or wife, when you go and you play games with your partner, you're playing. It's like you're playing with the Most High. Somebody knows. God gift wrapped that person and sent them to me. The last thing I'm gonna, look. The hierophant. The last thing this person is about to do is go and put this divine feminine in a third party situation or play any games with them. And it's almost like there's a person out here that's upset. Why? Why is this divine feminine? Um, receiving this type of loyalty from this masculine. Why is this masculine being loyal, dedicated? Why is this masculine? Somebody here has possibly been rejected by this masculine. And that's why they're so upset. Because somebody's like, well, <laughs> I just I just can't believe that he's he's settling down and he's treating that person like that. Or she. Because this could be a man, it doesn't matter. But somebody, the, the, the exes of this divine feminine and divine masculine, they cannot believe that the divine feminine and divine masculine have healed and come into alignment and are now attracting or have attracted their vibrational match. Look, spiritual awakening. Yeah. It's a lot of people realizing that they missed out on something great. It's the sweet song here. You and your person could send a lot of music to one another. Look at that. Magnetic souls. And watch out. <laughs> watch out. I'm telling you. Somebody is all over your connections. You have a sacred soul bond. Like a, there's a union happening with you and a person. And somebody is very upset about it. Somebody is jealous, envious, gossiping, and all. But this person is ready to explore life with you. They see you as their safe place. This person, I just keep, they see you as an answer prayer and you are their partner. Partner for life. Sorry, one second. Fire and desire. It could be a fire sign out here for sure. There's no denying the passion and chemistry you two have for each other. Didn't I say something like that at the beginning? I said I think that some of you are recognizing that there's a mutual attraction between you and somebody. This could be somebody that you're currently hanging out with. So, and this is so clear. Some of you right now, you could be dating somebody, hanging out with them. I don't think you know how much this person likes you because it feels like this person, they may even make it known to other people how much they like you. They have said something to someone about how much they like you. Like there is some kind of news or information that is traveling about how much this person likes you and the plans that they have for you. Somebody is is speaking very highly of you. You know, wow, you, you, you're doing this, you've done that. You're so accomplished, like, you know, somebody is, is telling people things about you and, and what you taught them and conversations you've had. And it's really shedding light on how valuable you are to this person. Somebody has found out about this. Through, I don't know if it's a friend, a family member, or an ex. It could be all of the above. But somebody is furious that this masculine is, is, is putting you on this type of pedestal. Somebody is just like, how? Why? Like, and this could be somebody who could be 
you know, known to be non-committal. I'm not going to say a player, but this could just be the kind of person that they haven't ever really wanted to settle down or they could have been in relationships before, but they weren't the most trustworthy or they didn't want to settle down or whatever the case is. This person is talking about you now, like marriage, life partnership, you know, reciprocity. They want to give, they want to give, this person could be the, the type of person in the past where in their relationships, it wasn't a lot of reciprocity. There could be someone in, um, this, this, this karmic that I was picking up on, this person gave so much in this relationship to try to hold on to this masculine. And this masculine was not there for what this person could give them, whether it was physically, sexually, financially, this person was looking for a connection with somebody that brought them some type of peace. And this part, this masculine and whoever this ex is, they may have just went diff in different directions. They may have had different dreams for the, their life. Different career goals, the way they, they thought about friends, family. They had different morals, different values. This person felt like that their situation was not in alignment with their integrity. And therefore, they, they moved on. And they fallen in love with somebody, but they're, they're this ex person. This ex person wants to talk. This ex person wants somebody to recapture some type of romance with them. But somebody has found the one. Yin Yang and Wedding. Somebody has found the one. They're not willing to deal with anybody from the past that they have any kind of soul tie with. They somebody here. That's what's happening. Somebody is clearing away all their soul ties. They're clearing away their soul ties. And I feel like there's a person that, that was connected to this person, to a, a masculine or feminine, who has been watching, stalking, monitoring. This person is feeling this separation on a very deep level. And it has them really freaking out. This is insane, though. I'm, there's a level of it. Look at, oh my gosh. Look, cut the deck, clingy, won't let go. Happiness. I feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. You're happy. You're enjoying life, baby. It's a woman out here. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's lost it completely. Yep. Options. So somebody out here, truthfully, could have had two options. A decision has to be made. This person chose you or is choosing you. And this doesn't have to be a situation where you are a third party, okay? Whoever this ex is that this masculine has, they're going to stalk anybody. Even if they, even if these two people have were not recently in a relationship, they could have been in a relationship years ago. This person just cannot get over the fact that this masculine has moved on. They obs they're obsessed. They stalk and spy a lot on social media. This person has become infatuated with whatever type of connection the two of you may have. I don't, is this an ex or is this a friend or family member? Yeah. Somebody has been hiding how obsessive they are. But somebody is getting clear about it. The, the mask is just falling off. Look, I just said the mask is falling off before I even saw that car unawakened. Somebody here is unawakened. They're very much ruled by ego and they're holding back a lot of secrets and information. Somebody here is holding back. And you know what, too? This For some, this whoever this karmic ex is, this person was cheating. They were cheating. And I feel like this person went out they could have chose, chosen to go down a different path because that situation is not working out. They want to come back. This could be somebody in your life or your person's life. You have exes now that want to come back. They're not happy where they are. And the fact that they can't come back, they're, they're really losing it. Yeah, you're happy. And somebody here just cannot go on. And all these cards are showing a, a feminine, a woman. So I'm going to call, I'm just saying woman or he, you know, she or feminine based on the illustration of the cards. But this, 
this person, they, they, for whatever reason, they're trying to compete with you because you're receiving a gift. You're receiving a gift of having the attention, receiving unconditional love, real affection, and honestly, just the effort of this masculine. Like I said, in the past, I'm not going to say this masculine was some type of saint in the past. In the past, this masculine could have been hiding something. For some, in the past, this masculine could have even been hiding the fact that they that they were dealing with you or had some kind of feelings for you. It doesn't really feel like a cheating type of situation to me, but you may have known this masculine when they were in another connection. I will say that. And whoever this person is, the karmic, past love. The karmic is for sure the past love. This person doesn't see, you can sit back and relax. Whoever this person is, they can't believe that somebody has chosen you. Yeah, and this was just a lesson. Somebody who thought this a, a situation was a lifetime turned out to be a lesson. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this person is. Heavy Cancer energy for sure. Spirit saying, wait, trust in divine timing and pay attention to your dreams. There's a past life connection here. You should look at this person as if they are you. The two of you are mirroring each other. Self-love, continue to go within. This masculine, they could be very introverted. They may not say a lot. They're going in, okay? But <laughs> this person could have even ran away from this connection at some point with Divine Feminine. But now the runner has become the chaser. This person is coming in. Now they want to reconcile. They want to have blessings with you. They think that you are fertile with many, many blessings. They want to celebrate with you. They feel like you are their good karma. And it's not... Them coming to try to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. This person has unconditional love for you. Yep. Separation. So you and this person may have had some time apart. Or there could have been a separation. And in that time, you may have had to learn a lot about boundaries. Or you may have even um, had to decide that it was time for you to start speaking up. Yeah. I feel like you and this person, for some of you, there is some kind of very powerful breakthrough. Like, there could have been a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where the two of you had a very vulnerable, like, transparent moment of talking about even your past. Um, this person may have even came to you, oh, when you and this person separated, this person may have decided at that time to really, really start blocking out a lot of things that didn't serve them. I feel like this person went on a, like a blocking spree. This person started blocking people, unfollowing people, just detaching themselves from a lot. Because this masculine has this level of self-control and they are rejecting people, people now are very upset. Like this has created some kind of conflict in their life. You may not really know about it, but this, ma <laughs> this masculine... Or this is you because you and this person. So for some of you, you and your person, you're doing the same thing. You and this person, you're cutting off soul ties. You're blocking out the past. Your exes, that like they are losing it right now. Because this type of energy, this yin and yang energy, it's, it's out in the universe now. And everybody's getting the message that, wow, like this, this is a real connection that's coming together. Or it's already together. And it's the kind it's the kind of connection that outsiders know that they, they cannot get in. Some of you, you have people in your life or your person did where they could always kind of get a pass. The door was always sort of open. You or your person now have closed the door out to everybody. 